welcome to bsc statistics students so in this class i explain combination of attributes for example you have two attributes a and b there are two attributes a and b and what would be the combination of attributes without uh, missing any kind of uh, attribute combination of attribute how to write it uh, this is what i explain in this class so for example the positive class and negative class of the attribute a are a and alpha for which if you write a or uh, uh, construct a tree with the positive and negative class of the attribute b for example you consider the combination of a with b a with beta similarly alpha with b and alpha with beta which gives the combination of attributes for two attributes a and b which means from this ab is the combination of attributes and a beta is the second one similarly if you if you come across with alpha with beta with b and beta that is the combination with alpha that is alpha b and alpha beta so here are four combinations in order a with b a with beta alpha with b alpha with beta the four combination of attributes uh, for two attributes a and b right clear this is the way to write and create this kind of uh, a tree this is called uh, a tree right and similarly for example if you have three attributes three attributes let it be a b and c for three attributes what what would be the combinations what are the combinations uh, for three attributes uh, a b and c and again you have to consider the two combination first and then the combination with uh, another attribute uh, is going to be considered already we have considered the combination of a with b for two attributes these are the total combinations now if we consider these combination that is uh, hope you understand if you consider two attributes the combination of two, uh, two attributes first for example the two attributes a and b the combinations of two attributes a and b already we have written here we have considered here if you consider that that is uh, a b a beta and alpha b and alpha beta that's what i consider these are the combination of a and b for which you have to add c for which you have to add c that is uh, c and let it be gamma for a negative attribute is alpha for b negative attribute let us consider is beta and for c you consider if you consider gamma this is the negative class then a b with c a b with gamma similarly you consider a tree you ca you construct a tree a beta with c and gamma alpha b with c and gamma alpha beta with c and gamma so this is the way you should not miss you should not uh, uh, confuse uh, and you should not uh, uh, 
leave any kind of order you should write in an order that is what my intention to say you should write in an order you have to consider a b a beta alpha b alpha beta this is an order a with b a with beta yeah, that is a b a beta similarly in alpha with b alpha with beta now the combination for three attributes a b c a b gamma al a beta c a beta gamma alpha b c alpha b gamma alpha beta c alpha beta gamma clear so these are the combination of attributes of third order so these are eight uh, combination of attributes 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so these are the eight uh, combination of attributes of third order second order attributes uh, combination of second order combination of attributes are we know for a and b we have four combination 1 2 3 4 similarly for b and c 4 for a and c again 4 12 combination of attributes for uh, three attributes in which uh, order 2 right so I, I am not specifying here so these are the third order class frequencies so this is the way to write the combination of attributes I have shown here for two attributes how to write the combination of attributes for three attributes and third order after uh, uh, considering the second order with the, the third attribute second order attributes combination of attributes are a b a beta alpha b alpha beta we have considered for a and b and then we have moved to the we have moved to the third order combination of attributes which are these here which are here i have explained in this way you have to write uh, you have to construct a tree a b with c and gamma it is nothing but a b c a b gamma a beta with c and gamma a beta c a beta gamma alpha b with c and gamma alpha b c alpha b gamma alpha beta with c and gamma alpha beta c alpha beta gamma this is the order we should not uh, leave the order we should uh, write in an order so that uh, no particular uh, class frequency if it is a frequency you have to write in a bracket no particular combination of attributes will be missed right hope you understand uh, there is the same way you consider the class frequencies what i want to specify here class frequency is going to be written as bracketing a b c this is nothing but class frequency it is only a only an indication for attribute or a class clear hope you understand this is what the how to express a combination of attributes how to express combination of attributes uh, in a particular order hope you understand thank you thank you very much